Caterpillar's vision is that we've, we've assembled all of the building blocks that uh, a mine could put together a fully autonomous operation if, uh, if they wanted. They're also decouplable. They can be deployed independently. Semi-autonomous. As the market leader in mining equipment and solutions, it's a vision Hastings Deering has supported from day one. Our people, our expertise and our support network is firmly behind Caterpillar. As we work together to deliver semi-autonomous technology solutions that will help our customers improve productivity, reduce operating costs and achieve safer workplaces. Well, it started with manual technology, initially the introduction of high-precision GPS to precisely guide machinery and improve the accuracy of the work it does. Then moved into control systems for the machine, still having a man on board the machine, but automating specific functions of the machine. And now we're knitting together all of those uh, subsystems to create a fully autonomous machine. Essentially a standard D11T tractor, roughly 110 metric tons. The blade on the front is a 42.2 cubic meter U-blade, and then we've put the autonomy layer on top of it. They are precision control machines, we've got high precision GPS on it, so we will know the position of the blade within centimetres of precision. There will be an improvement in accuracy, and more importantly we think an improvement in consistency. The one thing we're always doing is looking at the next thing that is on the horizon, so for us, the next step is going autonomy. Autonomy with the drills, autonomy with the dozers, and um, obviously autonomy with the trucks. We can offer something that will be safer. There'll be less HPIs, less soft tissue injuries. Also, there should be a cost benefit by using us over a traditional earth moving contractor with autonomy eventually. So that, that, that's why we're doing it, to be, to be the leader. We really are interested in the safety yeah. of our operators. Terry and I have got a big interest in our operators. We know a lot of our operators personally. So for us to rather send machines into dangerous conditions is just a much, much better option to see our operators go home safely. So they completely eliminate an exposure to people for, from high walls, falling rocks, those sorts of things, cave-ins, because there is no operator in the vicinity. What this system will enable us to do is to, you know, automate the entire dozer slot pushing operation. They can be remotely operated from a, a command centre, whereby in all cases the machine operator is off the machine, safely out of, out of harm's way in a comfortable environment. We'll get on with dozing productions in a much safer and a, and a more consistent manner. So the machines will be working harder because they don't slow down for things that would affect operator comfort. What it brings is the increased utilisation. You don't have to stop the machine for the operator to stretch their legs, take breaks. The machine will run basically with fuel as your limitation. So on these dozers, 13, 14 hours of operation. They can operate multiple dump faces, multiple loading faces at once. It's just whether you can plan it, you can set the assignment, the trucks will go where it's most efficient for them to go. Everyone should have autonomous dozers. 